Swati Krap and welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by the Chilong Muay Thai and Fitness Gym aka Thailand. A very special day today in Thailand as we celebrate Her Majesty the Queen's birthday and also Mother's Day for all other Thai mums. Happy Mother's Day to all mums out there today. In a case of very wishful thinking, Bangkok administration plans to make taxi drivers the ambassadors of tourism to help build a positive image of the kingdom. Bangkok's governor says the taxi drivers are the first people most tourists see when they come to Thailand. He says tourists will be taken to places they actually want to go, not bars and jewellery shops that give taxi drivers commissions. The optimistic claims follow a training course where taxi drivers were taught the importance of road safety and customer service, topped off with some basic English. Wonder if that would work in Phuket. No Escape, the new action flick with Owen Wilson and Pierce Brosnan, will be opening in Thailand, despite rumours that it's been banned. The film follows a family holidaying in a very Thai-like setting when it all goes wrong with a military coup. Sounds familiar? The filmmakers went to a lot of trouble so the setting couldn't be identified as Thailand, even turning signs upside down. Seems the local censors are happy to let the film through. Here's a sneak peek of some of the action. There's like a war going on out there. We're gonna die here. Listen to me. Get your head down. Look out. Coming up next, models behaving badly, consumer complaint figures and rules for expats from the Ministry of Labor. Don't miss this one. Or well, coming up next on Phuket Extra. Diamond Condo, set in tropical surroundings, just moments from the beautiful Bang Tao Beach, featuring a large swimming pool and easy access to five-star facilities. Diamond Condo, make your dream come true. Welcome back to Phuket Extra as we commemorate this special Mother's Day here in Thailand. Two promotional models are facing charges and outrage from the public for their unchoreographed dance at Ayutthaya. The ruins are considered to be one of the country's national treasures and sacred to ties. The 28 and 30 year old pretties had been doing a photo shoot when they decided to finish the shoot with some rather bad dancing. Police have charged the pair with an unpleasant act. Both could face up to one month in jail and a fine of 10,000 baht. We think the 10,000 baht fine should be crimes against choreography. Numbers are in for consumer complaints and it's probably not hard to guess the business that causes the most problems. Statistics collected over the last 10 months show condominium buyers had the most trouble with dodgy developers, lapsed completion dates, defects in construction and contractual problems. Second place goes to car buyers with defects, lack of service and requests for refunds. The third group of complaints were about goods and services, including buyers not receiving goods as ordered or being supplied with goods with defects, misleading advertising and issues with quality. Finally, if you're an expat and working in Phuket, you know there are some jobs that you're not allowed to do. Thankfully, the Ministry of Labor has a website to make it clear what we can and can't do as expats. To the website, and we read, well, we sort of read, not alien to the professional set of Korea, set in professional video and tea alien life that do not, following me so far, we think we can't do the proletariat farmer's gas party of the forest or fishery, and we can't do carved wood either. In other parts of the website, it forbids jobs like paper hand job, birth blanket mitt work, and some hand twisting spiral. Well, now you know. Well, that's all for Phuket Extra today. Hope you enjoyed our very special Mother's Day presentation. We're back again tomorrow with another Phuket Extra. Thanks for joining us.